Hey guys, I'm LB, and last episode, we completed the game and unlocked New Game Plus. And, uh, I did an experiment to see what it was, and it is exactly what I think it was. And, uh, you'll see shortly, but I must warn you that it lags the game quite a bit, and I was already strained the uh, my hardware is already being strained in order to just record this. So, yeah, if, if low frame rates make you nauseous, I would recommend right now setting the video speed to 1.5 or, or 2 times speed, because otherwise, yeah, it's, it's gonna be really bad, and there's not much I can do about it. I have done everything I can short of lowering the screen resolution in order to get this game to run well, and unfortunately, I cannot set the screen resolution much lower than this. So, let us begin. New Game Plus. It's actually really cool. It is the ending of the game as a mechanic. So now, instead of the screen wrap staying stationary, we get to actually see what's going on when we wrap through the screen. And that completely changes the way you look at things. The puzzles are still all the same, but yeah. So, in this final episode, we are going to examine the game in this new perspective and see how things look here. This is 4 out of 4, and I forgot to mute my phone. Because that's how much of a professional I am. <laughs> yes, that's- that slow descent made me think the game was lagging, but actually, no, it's- it's just, uh, me being an idiot because that's an updraft. Let's see... There we go. Why, hello there. And also, we could just, uh... Yeah, this- this really makes it obvious as to what you can and can't do. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Onward we go, through this whole game again. Which is actually really lovely. I- I am slightly disappointed that there wasn't you know, more puzzle mechanics to it, but they really got everything they could out of the screen wrap. It was really cool. But if I had one thing to complain about is that, you know the moving platforms? We barely got to use them. I thought that we were gonna have all sorts of other objects, you know, like, like this here. I thought we could have other objects to work with, but apparently not. Just moving platforms are pretty much all we got, and also, I guess the- the, the energy? The, the batteries that we collected, they- they would bounce as well, but... It's not really... not really the same. I was hoping, I guess, for maybe like, more of a 2D portal kind of thing. Also, my character is moving, you can't see the arm color very well. But yeah, I do like the art in this game. I am kind of disappointed that it runs so poorly, but this is an issue I've having with Duskers as well, and this game and Duskers both use the same engine, it looks like. Because they- they have the same launcher, which is- which I found interesting. But yeah, something about the engine just does not run well on my computer. Alright, see, this is one that I took- that stumped me for a little while. Look at that. That's how you do it. Man, what's gonna happen at the ending of New Game Plus? That's... gonna be strange. Also, are those mountains upside down? Those are! I never noticed that before! Wow, now that I don't have to focus on puzzles so much, I can actually look at the backgrounds! Wait, why did I... Why did I do that? That's not at all what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh yes, I remember this... taking me... Quite a bit. How did I do this again? Alright, exactly like that. Man, this is just a test of my memory now. But yeah, look at this transition! This game does a really nice job of hiding the transitions from you. But they're- they are- they are pretty obvious, but at the same time, they just- they still did a good job. Let's see, with this one... Yeah, this- this shows us what we're walking on, so when we're walking on the screen wrap, we're walking on the stuff at the other end. Makes a lot more sense as to what's going on. Ha 
<laughs> and this one, I think we just, uh, walk around a bit, and it automatically changes over. Look, there's a big wall over here. Last time I was walking to the right, this time, walk to the he over here. <laughs> oh, wow, that's strange. Actually, I think there's actually a trigger to the right, maybe. I don't know, because I turned around, I guess- I guess I'd hit the trigger and then turned around, because the screen was already fading out. What happens if we try and walk past the trigger? I don't even know if I can walk past it, it might just be... Well, because we would have to do- yeah, okay, so... Seems like it would be pretty difficult to try and walk past it. Oh, yep, that- yeah, we already hit the trigger, so... Okay, this is where we learn about the battery mechanic. It is a cool different way to see the game. I do like this. I don't remember this puzzle very much at all. Uh... Oh, I, uh... <laughs> didn't even need to do anything special there, I could just- I could just make that jump already. I think this is one where we just wanna take advantage of- yeah... Oh, I'm glad I almost hit that static there. Well, I'm not glad I almost hit that static there, but I'm- I'm glad that I didn't hit it, I should say. This is teaching us how to write these platforms up. It all makes sense now. We understand what's going on. It is a shame it makes the game lag so much on my system, though. I really don't know why. Right, where did we need to go here? Ah, there we go. That works. And this one was to teach us about how our height matters when we jump. And this is the battery that I completely did not even see was there, and so missed it. I still haven't decided whether I want to call those things fizzlers or barriers. I guess... I guess the best word for them is fizzler because they... they affect the puzzle mechanics. Also, that was a weird transition there. Not sure what the deal was with that. Oops. I can't remember, do I just need to time this one? Oh yeah, there we go. Just need to time it. I think it's the next one coming up that gets interesting. Oops. And I already... screwed up. Does it... Does it not exist? Oh, there it goes. And it falls a bit faster than me. Not because it's not really a physical object. But then why would it be affected by gravity? Strange questions. I must say. Alright, this one. Makes a lot more sense when you actually look at what's happening here. Of course, it made sense to me, but seeing it in this different way, uh, helps a lot. This puzzle! This took me forever to figure out! Look at that! It is so much easier when you can see what's going on. I don't think that's even the way I solved it before. Yeah, I think I did it this way. Yeah, there's- there's two different ways to do it. Also, I like how if you get it just in the between there, you can see both characters at once.
This one... Let's see... Ta-da! It's a lot easier to understand what's going on, <laughs> when you think with screen wrap. It's funny, this- this mode of the game actually makes it easier. Normally a New Game Plus mode would be harder, but this makes it a lot easier to comprehend what's going on. Or maybe it's just because I've played the game before? Yeah, look, you can tell that the screen wrap is not quite aligned properly because... I can see both of their heads at once. I can see her head and his torso, which shouldn't be possible. It does not make much sense. But, uh, yeah. It's okay. It's only a minor detail. And yeah, I, th it's definitely the moon that's casting those rays. Wait, some of these... Well, these are little particles in the air that are casting rays of their own. I mean, from the moon, but yeah, I never noticed that before. I thought those were... I don't know what I thought those were. I was gonna say stars, but no. Somebody's always thought that they were lighthouses, but I'm not gonna say who, because that might ruin a game for some of you. I saw, uh, Rockley Smile play To The Moon recently. Pretty neat game. I don't mind not playing it myself, I don't mind being spoiled, because, uh, it's not really my type of game... L ...looking at the way it, uh... ...the way it was done. Like, it was mostly just going around clicking on objects, but the story was definitely a really cool story. So if you haven't played To The Moon, and that style of gameplay is for you, then definitely go check it out. Trying to remember this one... I think... we just want to do... Hey! There we go! Screen transition! Hello? Game? Are you there? Oh, okay, here we go. Look at this, the hairstyle! I swear it looks complete- It looks like a completely different person in this lighting, but it's- it's- it's, it's the boy. It just looks weird to me for some reason. Okay, that explains... That explains that. Hmm. I actually don't remember how we did this one. <laughs> how did we do this one? Some of these puzzles, I remember when I was watching back the video, some of these puzzles, even after seeing what I did to solve them, I still didn't remember how I did them. Can I see the ground from here? No, that's just the grass deceiving me into thinking that we can see the ground from here. Gosh, I hit that static. I think I just have to jump over it and screen wrap back onto the platform. And I hit the static again, because I am terrible at jumping, as you guys all know. There we go, that time I did not hit the static. And that time I- I fell off! I fell off. Of course I did. <laughs> oh boy. There we go, just gotta go for it. I don't even need to wait for the platform. I can just fall here indefinitely. This does look quite trippy. And now we can hit here. This is the one that, uh, took me forever to get, but, uh, it's really simple. <laughs> Just had a major brain fart when, uh, yeah, I think that was episode 1 at 420, because I remember somebody commented about it with the timestamp and everything. That was real embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is one from the trailers. That's- so that one was like, basically a gibby- a gimme, because uh, the trailers taught it to me already. Alright, so I think... Yeah, we can just do this. Or not! Come on, there we go. Oh yeah, these things, I forget about these things. Yeah, I think we could do these in any order, if I remember correctly. There we go. I like how it's random hex characters. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, they just kind of fly around on their own, don't they? They just have, like, a mind of their own. I don't think I ever noticed that. Or are they just going in a circle? I think they're just going in a circle. Alright. Still, pretty cool. And, uh... Whoops. Oh, that was a weird... What just happened there? I'm trying to remember how I did this one. Oh, that- that probably helps. There we go. The jumping is actually quite lenient in this game, I've noticed. You have a lot of control in the air. And, of course, I do that. <laughs> Why wouldn't I do that? Look at this. This makes it really obvious as to what's happening here. I like to imagine that that's what the characters were seeing, and, and what we were seeing was a harder version of what they were seeing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I burped. Hiccuped, or whatever. Ah, yes. That was pretty simple. And there's nothing up here. Cleverly designed to avoid trapping. That effect still reminds me of The Witness. Nock was complaining about the spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I didn't really spoil anything, I just no m mentioned that there's an effect in the witness similar to that. Relax, Nock. I actually don't know if Nock is watching this, because this is basically... I don't know if he's decided to play this game himself or not. I guess I'll find out. Let's see, so this was the gravity reversal, right? Yeah! Is it normal that we still have that thing with us? I don't remember. Oh yes, it is normal. Right, we just wanna rotate gravity... ...and not do that! How don't we? Yeah, we want to go over here, so that way we don't kill ourselves. Ta-da! Magic. Lots of these little scenes in the game where you're just walking along and nothing much is happening. It's nice pacing. And the way it does the music is really neat. Oops. And 
I didn't screen wrap soon enough. Let's just do this right now. <laughs> I am so bad at this. Hey, somehow I made that work. I do not know how, though. <laughs> I, was in, I was incredibly lucky. Basically, I had no idea what I was doing there. Whoa, forgot about that. That's probably what was supposed to happen originally. <laughs> upside down trees and farmhouses. Very cool details in this game. This one. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> that's quite strange. Hey, somehow I made that work. Also, this transition is, is very strange. You can see... the foreground coming up against us here. And once we come out of here, there's no going back. And there's some static in the background there. Intr I like how the Upside Down Mountain introduces the gravity change, and then the foreground background thing is happening to us before that actually happens in the game. Very, very good foreshadowing this game, it's really well done. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Definitely not that. Uh... Trying to remember here... The best way to go about doing this would be... Definitely not that! Okay, somehow I made that work. That's still really confusing to me, like, the- the gravity... mechanics... kind of... befuddle me a little bit. Oh, I'm going down now. I wanna go... this way. Okay, I think I have... a sort of understanding of what I'm doing? Am I...? Where am I? Oh, that- that was... buggy looking. Uh... You guys saw that, right? I was inside the ground? <laughs> I am well and truly in the ground. That is quite strange. What happens if I... <laughs> oh, wow. I have to break every game I touch, don't I? You can actually see the seams here. That's... that's the way they overlaid things. Wow. Holy crap, it sent me all the way back over here. Mainly because I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go. There we go! Ha! <laughs> Finally figured out what the heck I was doing. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, that gap is way too small for me. Come on, I did this just a moment ago, without any hesitation at all.
What, now I don't have the right height? There we go. I'm not very good at the gravity mechanics, I'll be honest. Oh yes, this is one that I had accidentally... accidentally solved when I first entered the area, and unsolved it and resolved it somehow, luckily. Oh, and we just want to exit right away. That's right. What happens if we go back down? I want to know. Anti-trapping situation. Good on the devs. Of course, now we miss the nice animation, but still, it is pretty cool. ...that they thought of everything. And we wanna go this way? I don't remember. I think so, yeah. What the heck did I do that for? <laughs> I am not thinking properly today. Oh, there's that- that foreground security camera that I like so much. I think that one was rather stumping me at one point. In fact, it's stumping me now. Is there a place we can go over here to gain some height? Alright, that's... that's exactly what I forgot. Oh, right, right, okay, so... What we wanna do... Is do... The, the double screen wrap? Yeah, there we go! <laughs> Except not- not quite like that. More- more like that. There we go. That makes it so much easier to understand what's going on if you just imagine it as changing gravity zones. Of course- <laughs> Why would I expect anybody to know what I mean by gravity zones? That's- that's- that's in a game that hasn't even been made yet. Because I haven't made it yet. <laughs> And... already, I'm screwing up by not following my own advice about changing gravity zones. There we go. Except... oh, okay, we just needed some space to be able to pull it off. There we go. Oh yeah, I think... what happens if we- we go straight up, right? Oh. Or static, but there's one place in the game where if you go straight up, it just sends you back down. And once again, I did that wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm worse at this than I was when I first played it. Nope, there's still static above us. Oh, that was... frightening, to say the least. Hmm... I don't remember having too much trouble with this one. Oh, probably because I did that. <laughs> yes, that would explain why I did not have any trouble with this one. Except now what do I do? <laughs> Alright, yes. That would work.
Is this the area that would let you- Oh, nope, not- not this area. Maybe I passed it already. What am I- what am I doing here? This is- this is not at all... the correct solution. Ah, uh, I remember the correct solution now. There we go, you dummy! <laughs> Do it this way! Like a sane person would. I like how these areas the scream stays... stationary. Not anymore. <laughs> I wanna see... does this actually convey to us what's happening? Kind of. It's really weird, though. I think it's actually harder. That- that kind of messes with my brain more than in the original game. Oh, actually no, it's fine. Okay. It's just alternating colors now. Yep, that's exactly what it is. I still don't understand the bicycle. Also, the game is lagging really badly. I can only imagine what the recording must be like. I- I-, I apologize. Nope, that's not what we want to do. We want to do it this way. There we go. Transition! we make this... Right, because he can jump higher than her. I, I don't think I ever noticed that. Well, well, I mean, because of the, the foreground-background thing. Is she always in the background and he always in the foreground? I don't think there's a way to get them swapped around, is there? Oh, this is the one where we want to... Yeah. There we go. Ta-da! Oh. Did not even realize that that was a thing there. There we go. Wait, what does happen if we screen wrap and then just let go? Oh, there's static down there. Fair enough. That was... weird looking. Did I go... is this... what the heck is this thing over here? Is this in the background or the foreground? Why is it... Why is it colored like it's in the background, but it's actually in the foreground? That is weird. Huh, I don't know. There we go. I don't even remember him uh, solving these puzzles in the same way. Oh, you know what? His hairstyle is just like that. 
It just doesn't look that way... ...from this perspective, like when he's not- I mean, when he's in the light, he doesn't look like his hairstyle is actually like that. Trying to remember this one. There we go, that works. Close enough. Oh wait, I gotta... gotta go out of range first. There we go, now I can do that. Was there a camera over here? I wanted to see if there was a camera over here. No, it was just that blinking light thing. I do like the decorati- decorations of the cameras in various places, and the, uh, the recording in the top left corner. Even though, I don't really understand the reference at all, but it is cool. I do like it, as a sort of, uh, you know, in general. Alright, we have to- yeah, there we go, that's... there. I feel like I understand this better now, that I've- I'm playing this a second time. Like, I didn't fully understand it the first time I played it, and now I understand it better. But jeez, these are just 2D art assets with some parallaxing. Why does it lag so badly? And I've also noticed that the- the updrafts are hinting that there's static in the pit below. Which, I guess I didn't catch on to before. But it totally makes sense when you think about it, that's exactly what's supposed to be happening. I don't remember- I think we had trouble figuring out what this thing up here was for. Cause I don't remember actually needing it for anything. Right over there. That's right. I think we wanted it to just be barely off screen, right? Okay, so if we... Oh, oh, That's what this thing's for. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> I did that the hard way in my initial playthrough. So we wanna... We just wanna jump up there? Yeah, okay. Did we ever... We looked at the constellations, but I didn't really see any that I recognized, per se. There we go, there we go. How you do it. What did I just do here? Uh... Somehow I did that correctly. <laughs> Not exactly sure what I just did there, but I did it. Right, this is- this- this is what I think is my favorite world here. Wait, 
So this one is just normal? Or is it maybe just because it's the tutorial area? Or maybe... Does this area even work in New Game Plus? It doesn't. Interesting. So New Game Plus has no effect on this area. I guess I should've seen that coming. Let's see, how did we wanna... I think we wanted to do it... here? There we go. Oh, now it's working! But only vertically. Okay. <laughs> that is... quite strange. So... Wow, okay, so it does work, just vertically. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see, I think what we want to do... There we go. That gets a better idea of what's going on here. And my jumping is really lenient, as I've said before. Well, not- not quite that lenient. There we go, there we go! That's- that's the way I want to do it. Uh, how did I do this part? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, well, I could probably do something like this. There we go. That- that probably helps a lot, actually. How did... I don't remember this part. What? Um... Isn't that... Uh... Oh, right, right. Oh, I did- I went the wrong direction. Oops, I needed to go up. I for- I completely forgot that I have to raise that. Oh, it- I did it wrong. Whatever. <laughs> Bounced it off the wall. There we go. <laughs> I think I forgot about that happening. Let's see, what did I want to do here? Is this a recursive one, or...? I don't think so. Ascending into the heavens. Oh, there it is. I went high enough. How high can I go? Is there no upper limit? Huh. Oh well. Oh, we don't even want to be in this one. Oh, 
Also, what happens if we do that trick on the other one? Oh, well, <laughs> uh, hmm. Gotta be careful about that, I suppose. Whoa, where is the... Okay, well, I messed that up. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Let's just continue on, I suppose. I need to... There we go. I need to fix this guy. There we go. Oh, right, this is the recursive one. <laughs> I like that so much. Oh, there's absolutely nothing over there. Right, so now we're doing horizontal. There we go. So yeah, now the, uh, the New Game Plus takes effect horizontally, but not vertically. Oops, uh, that's not what I wanted. I'm trying to remember how I did this one. Might as well just resolve it, right? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> and I unwrapped too early. There we go. There we go. Right, we just have to unwrap after a certain point. I forgot. Man, this game sure likes to do that a lot. Forgot about that. Even though I literally just played this a couple days ago. I think what we first want to do is get to the other screen so that we can reposition it. Yeah, there we go. Then... There we go. I'm surprised I was able to make that jump. Anything over here? I don't remember if we explored over here, did we? Oh, this is the, the way to forward progress. Alright. And I botched that. <laughs> that screen wrap was completely botched by me. There we go. Gotcha. I think this is my favorite area. I 
can't imagine combining some of these mechanics. Like, if you combined the foreground background with this thing, or the gravity with this... They- they really could have done that. They could- this game could have been a lot harder, but, uh, they didn't. Haha! <laughs> I love that so much. You can actually see what's going on. It still looks weird when we vanish like that. That's a limitation of the effect. It's a still really cool- still a really cool effect. Oops. How did we do this one again? I remember this one taking me a bit. <laughs> Definitely not like that. Right. <laughs> That's the way we do it. can do that... ...make this jump really easy on herself. That looks so strange. want from me, game? Where do you want from me? Uh, not that. Oop, uh, whoops. Uh, oh, don't run off the edge! There we go. Did I ever mention I'm bad at jumping? There we go. That's all you gotta do. Alright, this part... I don't understand the significance of this part, but it was quite scary. This part. This is definitely creepy, for sure. I think this is just supposed to remind you of- Wait, now it's a square coming in? Wasn't it? I don't remember that. Maybe that did happen that way, but I don't remember it that way. Where's the- I thought it was like darkness coming in on us. No, I definitely don't remember it being a rectangle. It was definitely not a rectangle. That was definitely an ellipse last time, wasn't it? Maybe it's a difference of New Game Plus?
Wait, what do I want to do here? Oh, not that, obviously. There we go. I just didn't unwrap in the right place. <laughs> Do I get an achievement for completing New Game Plus? I guess we'll find out. Cool looking font, if I must say so myself. Achievement unlocked! That's a wrap plus! Alright, now we sit through all the credits again. So yeah. After playing New Game Plus, I am left a little disappointed, but this was still a very good game. I just feel like they could have done more, like with, with more objects that could wrap go through the wrap or whatever. Cause the only object that could go through the wrap other than ourselves, was the platform and the- the battery. And I wish it kind of... Basically, I wish that there was a, more to this game. Either that it was longer, or... that it, there was... uh... more objects in the puzzles, or that the puzzles could be combined. I was kind of expecting New Game Plus to be like that, but nope. New Game Plus is definitely like the ending of the game, as I had previously expected. So yeah, I think... I think this game is maybe a little too expensive for its asking price, but if you get it on sale, then I'd say it's probably worth it. Only if you enjoy puzzle games like this, though. And... I, th I guess it's because of the way they made the game that... I don't understand what all goes into making this game run so poorly on my system. Like, it's just a few shaders... ...and some 2D sprites. It, it shouldn't be that resource-intensive, but apparently it is for some reason. So... It's not as well optimized as it could be. I am hopefully getting a new graphics card in like a month or two. Hopefully. I don't actually know. I am glad that the Kickstarter backers saw potential in this game, because, uh, this was definitely worth it, in terms of, uh, well... I don't even know what I'm saying now. I'm not thinking straight right now. <laughs> I woke up too early this morning, that's why I'm not thinking straight. And I have to record some more Portal after this as well. Oh boy. <laughs> Be prepared, you guys will have already seen some of those episodes. Sarcasm Specialist Cole Jones, most attractive fan.
<laughs> Look at me now, Mom. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video. And I will see you all... in another series. Goodbye!